Okay, so good morning again, um, BSSC2, and welcome to Places in Landscapes in a Changing World. So basically, this is Geography 2. Um, but what we presented in Geography 2 is basically just um, just the basics of geography by identifying um, most of its parts and what's geography and touching the lives of the people and its effects, no? So its physical environment. Um, in Places and Landscape, it has specifications and it touches more in between with human geography. Though you will have human geography subject uh, by third year, or third year in uh, but still, uh, we may include some topics of human geography, okay? Now, let me present to you my small slides so we can have at least open forum afterwards on what are the things you can have and clarify or things that you have understood and maybe you want to share something, okay? So let's begin with um, this presentation. Let me just present my screen. Okay, so. All right, so again, let us introduce to you the course subject, not the places and landscapes in changing world. Um, what we're going to do is to introduce to you the basics. Let us, let us begin um, from, from the roots of this subject and why it's significant and important for us to discuss. Um, we already have the physical geography or you know, geography one last term, why we have to include the places and landscapes and what's its um, significance or importance in learning about it, okay? So in this, in this particular topic, we have to discuss two content. Uh, the rise of social sciences and what is human geography. Um, so this is the intended or uh, these are the intended learning outcomes. Now we have to discuss and understand the rise of social science, uh, define and explain the meaning of geographic science, and analyze the significant importance of studying human geography. All right, so talking about the rise of social sciences. Um, by its basic sense, the social sciences are a group of academic disciplines that study human aspects of the world, particularly those involving social behavior and society. So there are several disciplines in social sciences, right? Uh, to name a few, we have anthropology, we have sociology, we have economics, we also have history. Um, we also have um, psychology, no? just to name a few. Every single discipline in social sciences talks about the human behavior and its effects to society, meaning um, it is quite different from other sciences because for social sciences, it focuses on the living people. No? Those people that have contribute in shaping who they are as individual, as a people, as a culture, and as a society and as a, as a civilization, whether it happened in the past, in the present, and answering you know, um, the future, all right? Now, um, geography is another discipline for social sciences, which basically um, help us understand the features, the physical features, and the interaction of humans to its physical features. Though, in more specific manner, the interaction of humans to the environment is basically human geography. But all in all, again, um, we are talking about its physical landscapes, no? its physical attributes. Um, also, going back to what is social science, um, these disciplines focusing on the study of human social behavior are clearly distinct from physical sciences, like sciences, and even humanities. Um, though before, before the rise of social scientists, humanities came first, uh, because it has a little bit of, of a, a social science, but it does not include empirical evidences or empirical study, you know? Um, it doesn't involve scientific processes. That's why humanities um, has separated um, and then accepted that social sciences is basically a science where um, every single details that a human is doing is followed or it has undergone with um, scientific processes, all right? Take okay, the next slide. Now, in social science, why it is difficult to study human behavior than studying natural environment or even theorize the nature of God? Sige daw, balik ko na This is the question. 
Nga naman daw, that in social science, it's very difficult to study human behavior than studying natural environment or even theorize the nature of God. Ah, let me skip in. I need join. Sa po. Sige, let me join. I'm join. Anyways, um, sige. Muto siya yung pangutana. Para sa inyo, ha? Nga nung mas result or quite complicated when we study human beings. Why? Um, and, and, and social science came late than other sciences. Nga nung ang focus sa tao sa una is not understanding us as people, but ang focus nila is is an environment and even it gets beyond the environment no that to space we have first astronomers as the ancient people no mas gisalihan nila ang ang life beyond sa ilahang life na naa so para sa inyo nga nang quite complicated man when studying human behavior that's why social science is a discipline came late together from the class uh miss vidalia Miss Medalia, can you hear me? Ah, sige, Murad. Because it's subjective, sir. Okay, sige. Mr. Rojas, Chris Meek, sige. Why it's subjective for you? Because and why do on... subjective, no? The idea of being subjective as human beings is quite complicated. Because we have our, uh, we have different perception towards our understanding about ourselves, our behaviors. Nagadipindi na sa... Can, can you be more specific and cite probably an example why us as being subjective and understanding us? No, um, can you probably give me an example that happened in the past or a personal experience that you could tell that no, away from physical um, sciences or life sciences, um, social sciences is quite different from them. Though both are sciences and follows procedures in scientific studies, but ano miso bisun mo gitsab to ng tao? Masayun pa man sabton when we do experiment inside the lab. Or ganong masayun pa man i perceive ang theory when we talk about God and its creation and its beginning. Because we, we undergo in the constant change, man. Just like, let's take for example, kanang, di na to, ang mga, ang mga behavior sa tao sa una is different na ang mga, ang, is different from, Unsay behavior sa mga tao karon it's because kuan mas modern naman taron mas kuan na ta sa 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 technologies while in sa in the previous days kuan sila mas mas practical sila mas mas hands on nila mga kuan and i think right now <laughs> yes um even gani sa sa modern time we have social media and even in Facebook, we have the idea of complicated, meaning to say, in psychology, you know, there are a lot, a lot of things in our mind that has to be um, checked or that has to be explored too. That's why um, every now and then you're correct now in saying that um, sige mo undergo changes ang tao, sir. Every now and then, ang perception sa tao is maka lahi lahi. Um, that is right. That's why um, social sciences and its researches follows through to the changes of human being no? and we are very much complicated because uh, we complicate things beyond us diba? our decisions complicate things our limited resources if we talk about the relationship between humans and economics no? our limited resources complicates everything and it goes beyond to the limited resources it goes beyond with the conflict in in politics right in their national conflict it's because of resources and it's the decision making of human being Okay, and then um, you have the idea of subjectivity, right? Um, life of a human being and its decision is quite relative, meaning what true to us is not probably true to others, right? So if we base that on the context, nga, ang atong ito one is that there's this universal history, no? Butangan na to, that the, the history of humankind is good and bad, di ba? Sa history, duharag yun ang atong ibutangan na to, no sa so human nature theory of history nari duha ka idea sa tao good or bad okay now ang pangutana na do we have the same idea of goodness and do we have the same idea of what is bad or evil diba in the filipinos ang atong good diri 
is probably doing what we can do in order to alleviate poverty, in order to do things and, and that. But what is good to others is dealing on put pariha sa tuwa, no? If we are trying to survive out from this misery, ang uban po, they're trying to survive to put misery to other people. Now, say for example, most of the Western countries, no? Those who are powerful, um, usually gets most of its um, resources or raw materials coming from the impoverished countries, no? The Philippines is one of the best examples. They are highly industrialized, but they don't have the supply to sustain, right? And they don't want to step down and to balance what they have in their 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 country because they just wanted to get something out from from this little country. So how can a little country, you know, this less developed country, improve if they could not industrialize because you know, the other world leaders does not allow it, okay? Even the wala, wala equity ba between the distribution of the resources around the globe or across the globe. Okay? Nagi uban, naguna, nagi uban permanent iwit because kung sa umang put lagi, pag compete if you are not given equal opportunity to do so. No? So again, um, we as humans are very complicated no? by nature. That's why it's quite late for the social science to emerge. It's because, um, nagbisod sila conceptualize on how to scientifically prove humans uh, and its behavior, right, and its activity. So, mono siya ang nakakomplicated sa tao. Okay? So, sa personal ganit nga level, namang ito idea of being complicated, di ba? Sometimes you're in a happy mood, sometimes you're in a bad mood, sometimes you are just floating around. No? Just like a cloud that's, there's nothing. Okay? It's quite complicated and it's quite mysterious in how people think, how people act, um, how people choose something. Okay? Now, going back to our slides. Oh, basi na pa ginahan mo share aside from Mr. Rojas. Basi na pa ginahan, no? To give us an idea why. How um, complicated man? This one man, and the wit mang yun social science. Wala na? I think no. It's quite fair and clear on why mas me prefer ang tao on understanding first its physical environment and even outside of physical environment than of understanding ourselves. Anyways, let's move on to the next slide. All right, so let's talk about a little bit of the history of social science. So the term social science first appeared in the 1824 book, An Inquiry into the Principles of Distribution of Wealth, Most Conducive to Human Happiness by William Thompson. Um, the next one, we have there an evidence of early sociology in the Islamic Golden Age. Um, we have philosophers such as Confucius had long since theorized on the topics such as social roles. Yes, that's correct, no? Because uh, the Confucius had had the identification that um, dapat tanan tao subject to the king or subject to the emperor but dili tanang tao who subjected himself to the emperor has the same social structure or social certification sa anang society no nalang gihapon tong nasa peasant or kadong sa labor nalang gihapon tong mga um kadong mga mason or kadong mga panday nalang gihapon tong mga negosyante nalang gihapon tong mga sundalo nalang gihapon tong mga scholars and then na ang king of the noble family or ang emperor of the noble family Okay. Um, so golden age and Islamic age, this is actually a study sa time na Muhammadian age or era. Now, this is the time where from the start na nagsugod ang, ang, ang Islamization um, where ilang gituuhan that Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad was was the last prophet. So muna siyang time that every um, society has been studied by um, some scholars, mga Muslim scholars, no? Um, on, on how they understand the teachings of Muhammad. Okay? Uh, golden Age is because muna siya ang time sa Muhammadian era na grabe kayo ang, ang, ang pag-value nila sa teachings ni Muhammad in understanding um, what are the good things of Islam. Okay? Foundations. Um, prior to the establishment of social science where it appeared in the Uh, 1900s, no? Later, nagigkaya siya. Kaya 18-something with doon na book. Um, let me see. Sorry. 
1824 na book. So, sa 1900s siya niya appear. I mean, 19th century, sorry, 19th century. But the foundation of of social science can be traced back, way back in the ancient time. Of course, atong na lang siyang ma-incorporate ma because there are uh, historians who studied it well. No? But during the ancient times, only with the development of mathematical proof did there gradually arise a perceived difference between scientific disciplines and others just like the humanities or liberal arts. Because sa una, no, these are just composed of one single discipline taught by Socrates, taught by Plato, taught by Aristotle, no, to so on and so forth. But then, um, when when Plato tried to conceptualize mathematics and uh, on on separating some of the concepts ng ilahang mga teachings at that time. So that was a time where it separates ng the ideas of humanities and liberal arts. Now, during the medieval times, we have Thomas Aquinas of the 13th century. In his Summa Theologia, develop ideas about man and society that contain political, social, economic, anthropological, and geographical concepts. But this is grounded in in moral sense because uh, during the medieval period, though these are progress, no progress of not scientific advances, but progress of thought of philosophy. But the philosophy here is being grounded on um, the ideas and the teachings of the church. Okay, but the centerpiece here is that everybody, you know, the human being, should subject himself to God. All right. So everything that you can see um, on, on on Thomas Aquinas writings is basically um, being connected to God as the, the ultimate provider, as the ultimate knowledge. All right. So again, next. Now, um, significant contributions to social sciences were also made in medieval Islamic civilization. Civilization. If Al Bruni um, has been called the first anthropologist, um, he wrote detailed comparative studies on the anthropology of peoples, religions, and cultures in the Middle East, Mediterranean, and in, even in South Asia. We also have Ibn Khaldun, best known for his uh, Mukadima or um, Prologomenon in Greek has been viewed as one of the forerunners of modern historiography, sociology, and economics. Um, the good part about of this discussion is that it did not only provide an idea that the sole proprietor of understanding social sciences comes from the West, but you have to acknowledge that there are people in the East, not especially in the Islamic medieval period, that contributes on, on giving us the idea that there are progress in social sciences, though it wasn't called yet social science at that time, but there are early people who actually tried to study human behavior, study the connection of humans to its culture, to its society, to its previous civilization, its existing civilization. Okay, And others are also trying to, to provide um, information based on, on, on facts, no? archaeological finds, mga kanang artifacts found in in the ruins artifacts found um, below the sea right so these are not just simply detailing writing it down what they've heard from from older generation or older people but they too have conducted um, similar studies of what um, anthropologists and sociologists are doing now or historians are doing now though it's not as concrete as scientific as of today but still, it is a forerunner. No? It was um, the time where people started to think why we exist and why we communicate and why we develop a certain kind of culture one to one another and then spread out to a society and to a civilization. Okay? So this is a good start of, of trying to tell the masses no? or to tell your audience or your uh, future students that society, I mean, social sciences, uh, does not solely comes from the idea of the Western people, but every um, civilization that existed, whether it's the East or the West, have contributed on the development of this discipline. Okay. Okay. Now, after the ancient period, after the the medieval period, we have the European Enlightenment. This is the time where people tries to 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 get new endeavor on on 
what to present and, and what to include in the universities, okay? So in the Age of Enlightenment, um, it advocated reason as a means to allow human beings to obtain objective truth about the whole of reality, um, freeing humankind from superstition and religious or religious belief, right? Because after um, the medieval period, no, um, people started to rethink on, on, on what are the things that we can do to stop the backward or less um, less explored knowledge that we have today, right? Because in the medieval period, the sole, sole um, source of information or knowledge comes from the church. Beyond that, you, you can be tagged as heretic, you can be tagged as the practice of alchemy or witchcraft, which at that time punishable by death, hanging by death or guillotine, or even you will be burned down, right? But during the time of Renaissance, and then towards enlightenment, people were thinking on what to do to bring back the glory of the ancient times, but better than the glory of the ancient times. Now then, they incorporated scientific processes where human beings were allowed to explore then of what they believe in, in, in superstition and in, in religion, okay? So people were thinking outside the box already. This is also the time um, during the, the Renaissance and the Enlightenment period, um, towards the end of the medieval period, there was a reformation, diba? There was a revolution uh, coming from Martin Luther and, and, and the rest of the, the reformists or the rest of the uh, Protestants. No? They protested the, the ill teachings, not by the church, not by the Bible, not by God, but the ill teachings of the people working or the clergy people, right, working inside them inside a church so by that time uh, most of the western countries has adopted you no know, not entirely but slowly adopted uh, lutheranism um calvinism you no know? this is getting away from the conventional catholic um system and trying to get away with it they establish um a new set of of christianity right and this allows human being to explore more and more beyond the religion so during this time during the the renaissance period they brought back the glory of the ancient teachings right so so they reteach what were taught by socrates by the philosophies of the ancient civilization and then they, they slowly incorporated what have been discovered at that time you no know? um when when humanity especially during the the end of of the renaissance in the the beginning of the enlightenment period humanity have slowly discovered new technology which which um proceeds to the development of of urban places no of cities right so the discovery of using coal was one of the greatest contributions in modern technology where um they developed um faster machines that could hasten and the development of Revolution, the development comes with a price. Uh, the the inequality of the, the bourgeois and the proletariat came along, uh, especially when this was studied properly by Marx and Engels, right? So this has brought to a different avenue from what had been taught in the medieval period, which mostly the knowledge comes from the church only, and the, the ultimate knowledge comes from God. But during the Renaissance period to the Enlightenment, this are the time where people explored more and more basing on um, science okay um, so before we proceed let me just ask you if you're still following can you try typing one in the chat box if everything is doing well in your end okay um at the end of our discussion, I put there an open forum, something you can add, or maybe if you have questions that me and your classmates can can, can answer, just please do so. And at least um, if we are given at least a little bit of time, so a discussion towards your questions. But thank you for um, following up. Uh, I've seen a lot of one here. So let's um, go back and proceed to our discussion. 
Right, so this is the European Enlightenment. The development, this is towards 19th century going to 20th century. So in the 19th century, uh, French thinker August Comte was the first to apply the scientific method to the social world and coined the term sociology to describe the scientific study of human society. So don't forget August Comte, he was the one who studied it. Also, we have another um, initiated by you know, Durkheim studying social facts. So these are the people who tries to, to understand now um, human being and its relationship to society. Um, they are the first sociologists no? who, who actually tried to explain um, human behavior when humans are within or were within its own culture, um, beyond its own culture, and then um, its formation to that society towards the modern era. Okay? Sila nis lang ng mga tao. Um, for Emil Durkheim, yang he established dito that the society is like an organ system. No, it functions like the organ system of our body, where the society is divided into several institutions that work hand in hand together in order to function as whole. Right. So, if a human body nato comprised of several organ systems like a nervous system. Um, the respiratory system, so on of the system, so on and so forth. The the the, the uh, society as well for Durkheim um, gets the same idea, right? And if one institution does not function, then um, there could be a problem with the entire um, organ system, or the, in the entire organism, or in, in this manner, the entire society, no? the entire German society, the entire uh, French society, or um, British society. Okay. Also, within the institutions and within the society, there are also deviants. No? Um, this was still studied by Durkheim, the deviancy, that in an organ system, there are still um, deviant there that could cause harm to the society or could possibly um, maka or pahawa on siya no? with that organ system. Say, for example, um, in, in a system, no? where there are a lot of institutions, uh, say for example, in the educational institution, there are students, let's say, you know, that doesn't want to believe in the curriculum or doesn't want to believe in the teachings of, of, of that school would go and try to oppose on everything the school is mandating. You know? There are times that it could affect the entire system of that school or, or the school would normally just kick out the deviant. Okay, that is just one example, but in, in their kind of example, it's way far more uh, worse than that, right? For for their kind of example, dito, in a society, no, uh, the deviant people would normally cause harm to other people. That's why a society would provide an institution that would prevent them. Kung sa manasya, natay mga penal colony, right? Katong mga presuhan. Natay mga balaod ng ibuhat in order to suppress this kind of deviancy. No? And then, kani sila ng mga deviant is buhatan ni sila o murag, murag facility for reformation para mubago sila o balik and ma-reintroduce sila sa society. But others, no? murag yun sila o ka na kung virus or bacteria na basta tambala na mamatay sa sila. Di ba? So, that's the function of society for their kind. And it's very good that we've talked about it. It's because it, it, it opened up to an idea na human behavior na ang gistadihan sa tao. No? Of course, wala na itong take away ang other ng mga sciences like the physical sciences, life sciences, so on and so forth. But during the 19th century, um, hinay hinay, no? sociology has become um, um, or became known to the, the social world, right? It became known to the development of, at this time, European society. Okay, so that's the development. Um, third, we also have Max Weber and his best friend, you know, Frederick Engels, um, developed a social phenomena where identified with and understood. Another pushed economic study from being a descriptive to a mathematically based discipline. But um, studying um, Max Weber um, idea of society is basically, mura siya usa sa pinaka 
parang importante, no? That, that it identifies social phenomena and being understood by everybody. Um, it discusses now economics, it discusses now um, um, politics, it discusses now um, you know, sociology and other disciplines that can be um, can be monitored and can be um, assessed with mathematics or can be checked and, and processed with mathematics, meaning the conduct of on a scientific basis um, using numbers. All right, so using statistics, we're able to get results now. Okay. Sorry, Karl Marx, you know, this is Max Weber, this is the Parias, ni Karl Marx. Huh? Karl Marx, to ang, 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 ang invest friend is Frederick Engels. This is Max Weber. Okay. Now, geographical sciences is basically um, geography that has inclination to other discipline. All right. So we have physical geography, which studies mostly the physical environment and the relationships to human being. Economic geography is basically more um, concerned with the distribution of resources to its geographical area, whether it's a country, whether it's um, a region or a continent. Okay, uh, political geography it's um, it places and landscape where um, political policies no, or, or governmental policies are being distributed. Um, like, what are the type of government does a country is using, and how it developed, and what are the policies that they were able to create based on its geographic location? No, um, you would be amazed that some of our policies are patterned on on the the physical appearance or physical um, environment that we're into. Okay, so nine mga polisiya nagipangguhat, no? mga balaw din ipangguhat that is very much entrenched to to what we see in our environment because um, our policies should adapt to what can be given in our environment. No? So, dili tamo buhat ang policy na dili siya mahatag sa unsay makita na to. Right? So, that would be a waste of time, money, and resources as a whole. Right? We also have cultural geography. Uh, this talks about the distribution of cultural group of people, um, mga ethnic groups, cultural groups, and even mga indigenous groups within a country, a region, or um, no, the, the, the entire um, the, the entire um, globe. No, what are the different cultural um, groups that exist? Uh, this one, urban and transportation geography. Uh, this mainly talks about urbanization and how um, the, the places and landscapes of a, a well entrenched and well equipped and compact na, na lugar is working and also it introduced um, transportation on how the transportation differs from urban to rural and why this is the type of transportation is being used by this particular place, by this particular region, by this particular city, right? We have regional geography, it mainly focuses, you know, it, it takes away from the idea from urban, it's go to the region of, or the provinces, okay? And what are some of the, the interactions done with the, the regional um, group of people who are living there? Uh, this one's very important, medical geography. It analyzes its geographic data on, on what are the medical cases that, that a particular place have. No? Anong mas daghan magkaso sa dengue sa urban places than sa mga rural places. Anong mag, mas daghan mag, nagka-COVID sa urban places like highly dense uh, or densely populated na places like Metro Manila, like Cebu, like Davao City and why it's not as high in the regional places, right? It's very important to, to, to check on the, the location, especially when we talk about medical geography, because this would give us a hint, an idea, where's the epicenter, why there are a lot of cases in this particular region, and why it started there, okay? So these are the questions of, 
of geographical sciences in each of these disciplines that I presented that would give us an idea no? why it's very important to study. Um, commonly, no, some of, of the students would just think that if it's geography, places are good, yeah? country are good, yeah? mga natural resources are good. Makita. But for our discussions, even in physical geography, we have to, to acknowledge that geography is basically more na siya, symbiotic na, na friend sa tao. No? Whether where you go, it has to involve geography. Okay? Um, whether it is um, presented properly by the education system or you, no? Um, just learning it. But it's very important that we have a connection. Mura siya symbiotic connection. Hindi na ito mahawa sa buwa. Alright? Now, moving on. This one. Human geography. Let's talk about human geography, but just a little bit of this. Because in your third year, um, I think first try, uh, we will have geography three. But this is mainly human geography all in all. Alright? So let me just introduce to you and give you a bit of an idea what human geography is. So um, human geography is about the ways in which spaces, places, and environments are both the condition for and the consequence of human activities. Within human geography, you study human interactions with their surrounding world. The subject has a focus on how people organize and make use of the Earth's surface and its resources particular um, emphasis on people's economic, social, cultural activities in the processes, as well as on the relationship to the places and geographical areas, from urban spaces to landscapes, regions, and countries. All right. Now, let me ask you, no? uh, what's very important for us to, to understand our um, connection with regards to our environment, no? why human geography existed? Why nga nung kinahanglan man nato, masabtan ang ato ang lihok that could affect the environment? Or maybe the people, or maybe the resources, or its decision-making when we talk about governance. Sige daw. Say so, yeah, from the class. Anybody from the class? Any volunteer? Miss Bilover. Ah, Bilover or Bilover? Can you? Type zero if na pay tao sa kung plan. It's weird nga ko rin sa history. Ah, na pa di ay. Thank you, Ms. Kalamba. Alright, sige. So, balik ko na ako. Nga na importante man. Nga no? na importante man na uh, masabda na ito. Ang ito ang connection sa ito ang environment or the people that surrounds us or sa ito ang surroundings as a whole. Uh, you can actually just type your answer no? if you would like to type it. Um, others, if you want to raise and voice out your your own understanding, you can also do so. But let's try to see um, what are your your thoughts. Why we need to understand our um, connection to our surroundings. So, okay, type na lang sa chat box. Sige, um, while waiting now, masin na yung post yung answer sa chat box na yung ganahan mo share. Ano ko nakatawagan? 
Miss Sigera, nah si Miss Sigera. Any thoughts, Miss Sigera? Hmm. Sonoria Briggs. Sure. Yes, go ahead, Briggs. Um, why, for you, it's very important for us to understand our connection to our surroundings, no? to, to the people that surround us, to our environment, to the resources. So, any thoughts? I, I think, sir, it is important for us to understand and to study human geography because basically we exist and we are part of the environment. If kanang, no matter what we do, it reciprocates and mubalik siya sa atua. That's why we need to understand it thoroughly para atong decision nga atong i-made is kanang, kanang well, well planned yun siya and kabalot nga unsa ang posible nga epekto niya. And if ever that happens, um, kabalot na ta unsa ang posible na to nga himuon nga or not the alternatives or not the plants, makaplanta ahead sa kung kung unsa ang mas maayo gid sa kat sa nakat sa sa masis kay always we always di ba we always take um into consideration what is good for the masses so in making action in decision making especially for kanang sa atong mga sa pag govern sa isa ka sa isa ka places it it's really important to study how human works how human behave in a certain area para mark take nato into consideration ang mga effects og ato ang matimbang siyag pag-ayo before ta mo, mo conclude sa unsang ato ang buhaton sir thank you okay thank you that's right no um it's basically just the same thing with math here in unsia provide solutions and appropriate um, decisions sir that is right no just like what brick said it is correct our interactions to our surrounding would basically determine on what we do with our own future right because at the end of the day, we will be left as humans, right? And everything that surrounds us are very static. What we do to this static na environment na nasa atua would define sa ang progress as a society, as a human society, right? But another question is, are we progressing? Are we making good and appropriate decisions on, on, this, on this question? As human beings, um, have we gone to a point that we have been doing well with our environment? And is it affecting us to become a better society? Say it down. Uh, before we answer our question, Ms. Juarez, no? you want to more? Uh, in my opinion, sir, it is because that human species cause big impacts to the environment than any other species. Correct. As humans, our actions and the policies were created affects positively or negatively to the society and physical landscape on Earth. Correct, no? Um, ever wonder why we have landslides, we have flooding? That is because of poor decision-making ng human being, all right? Um, we can't just say na ato ni siyang i-blame lang sa government because they are not making enough na mga drainage system or they are not preventing developers to develop um, mountains into high-rise na mga, mga buildings or residences. That's why water coming from the mountains are diverted into another stream where it doesn't have any more protection. Or does the policies for um, deforestation has a teeth that could really prevent illegal loggers? Diba? So these are decisions that we should not blame alone with the government, but us as a people. Okay? So going back again to the question, have we progressed? No? Do we have um, a, a better society because we've made better decisions, better policies as human beings? No? This does not box alone in the Philippine setting, but the, the entire planet. No? Have our um, international leaders you know, contributed to the development of this planet as a whole that affects an individual lives. Uh, we have Andrew in Monsia. We cannot survive without the environment, sir. That's why we need to understand our connections with it and how to interact with it so that we can 
know some ways on how to keep the environment that will not put our lives at risk. Right, right. Pero balik ko na po. As human beings, no? As 21st century na mangit garon, from time immemorial, have we progressed to the betterment of our lives, to the lives of everybody living in this planet? So you can also type your answer, or if somebody wants to share an answer, the floor is yours. Our lives became convenient now, sir, but our methods is somewhat detrimental to nature. That is right. Um, from what I can assess, it's still um, nai inequality when we talk about the distribution of the wealth of our environment. Even though na nasa Pilipinas, but yet sa ato ba na napadulong na resources, we are cultivating it, but did we benefit from this entirely? Say, for example, in the mining industry, um, we just mine, we just dig, but we don't um, produce a finished product here in the Philippines. So we are not benefiting that much at all, right? We are benefiting because na dig na nakabaligya ta. But the value of that resource does not equate to its effects on the environment and to the people that surrounds that um, resource. Diba? That is right, detrimental to nature. A little bit comfortable, but not as if it gave all of the people um, the trust and confidence to, to really live you know, the way we wanted to live. Well, at least in my own opinion, in my own observation. So, yeah. um, what else? Not by line, what the answer? So, yeah, now, um, let's wrap it up. I post na ako na pa, na to later. Uh, let me share to you the next slide. This is now an open forum. This open forum, you can share anything that you've learned from our discussion now. And perhaps if you have questions or clarifications or anything that you'd like to say about our discussion, this would be the best time. Open forum. So, yeah. um, you can also post a question in the chat box or a sharing of thoughts about your, your understanding for today. So at least um, 14 minutes. Sir? Yes, yes, please. I have a question, sir, with regards to right. mm -hmm. Milder Kaim, sir. Nga. Mm -hmm. There's always a deviant, deviant people in the society. Mm -hmm. So, I, I would like to know, sir, if what exactly is the criteria or how to consider a deviant people in the society. Kay di ba, if what is good and evil is relative, mm -hmm then what if that people is just presenting his philosophy and it opposes the status quo niya naging deviant lang siya in the in the kanang sa pananaw sa takadaghanan kay gipagligawas nga mali siya kaysa sa katong unsa na gid ang gipaniwalaan sir that is correct because um uh, that's, a, that's a good question in human society we've created different society based on its cultural behavior na to right we have filipino society which is very different from other societies that existed they're different from chinese um the americans the europeans right so basically if you want to impose something in that society no uh, say for example Saturn history when magellan came to the philippines insisted that there's god insisted that the white people is a benefactor what did the pulapo do so lapu-lapu did react to that deviant because that's not acceptable acceptable to the culture and to the entire society. No? Can you imagine? Um, bago ka sa klase, no? transfer ka from other place. And then you wanted to impose your own belief system. You wanted to impose your own cultural values to a, to a cultural um, setup where you do not um, basically belong to because you are just an outsider. Diba? Kung sa may unahonaon sa imong classmate, sa imong ha. Right? Um, our planet does not have one human society as a whole. We have similarities, 
but when we go to its particular society, let's say the Filipino society, even that Filipino society, it's being divided with its uh, cultural um, patterns or cultural acceptability. Diba? Um, the gan kahit ag ethnic diversity sa Pilipinas. And each of these ethnic diversi diversities or ethnic group do have its own cultural patterns. Okay? So the answer is, you can be tagged as deviant to that society if you do not conform to what the society is trying to share with you or tell you. Muralo nag sa klase na ito, na-transfer eh. Huwag dilig siya kasabot, tumad kay taga Manila siya, konyo, konyo, pagyad siya. Dilig siya kasabot sa mga bisdakol, no? Parehas ninyo. So what would happen, he won't have the same manner, he won't have the same um, attitude towards teaching, towards the development of friendship inside the classroom. That's what would happen. And normally, di masyaganahan, so he would cut the classes or he would go out without um, any reasons because maybe di lang masyaganahan, no? Because wala siya kasabay. All right? That's a deviancy. Um, in, in a bigger picture for Emil Durkheim, um, yung nga, sa society na to, even gani, ha? If you belong to that particular society, still, um, you can possess a deviant attitude. Diba? Because not everything that your um cultural group that is saying is acceptable to you, especially if you are introduced with another knowledge um, sets, right, coming from other cultural group, which is generally, para sa inuha, accept, acceptable and universally, uh, universally true, diba? So say for example, if you belong to a cultural group na ang ilang pananaw sa babae is second class citizen ng Indonesia, that, that women do not have the right as same with men. Diba? And then, ikaw dito, nag-eskwila ka. Nang babae ka, nag-eskwila ka, nakaka-influence kang from the West that they are treating women with respect and dignity. Sa imuhang kaugalingan niya culture, imuhang na-experience ka, di liman parihas o experience ang ako ang experiences na riyog sa ako ang nabasa or akong natanaw or akong na-istorya na babae sa laing country. So what will you do in your society? You would probably try no to at least do a little um rebellion inside the house no adili ko ana pa oi ano yung mong pugson mo dang iskwela ug pamini o nimo saan ang atao nga naamo ko kaugalingon na kung volition to choose what my life should be diba so even in your own cultural group you uh, have the tendency to be a deviant mo lang sa tuang society diba if maka kita mo dagan tag mga deviant in our society, nasa prisuhan. No? Ang uban, kung sa school na siya, natay mga out-of-school youth, some of that is mga deviant, kadiliganahan sa eskwilahan. Of course, there are a lot of factors why they became deviant, but again, dili siya, uh, I mean, they exist siya sa atong society, and also sa other societies, naging mga deviant. Okay, sir. Thank you. See again. Um, I have here, from Miss Kalamba, in other aspects, yes, sir, we have progressed, but when it comes to our environment, I think we have not. Our environment is suffering because of human activities as well as our resources wasn't used properly and shared fairly, correct? Which affected us humans, especially those people who mainly depend on what the nature gave them, right? Right. For Miss Medali, our situation and way of living in the present are more desirable than before, correct? Uh, especially if we talk about medicines and its medication. But it's not as advanced to other countries, right? If masakit ka karon na ay alibyo, but if this cases, no, kaninga mga sakit is quite severe, niya, walay facility ang atuang lugar, meaning to say it's not as you know, well improved or better, but a little bit better than before, dear. Um, in continuation, humans get uh, better at knowing how to be better in social and economical context. All right. For Mr. Dihado, I agree with Ms. Medalia. Good to know that our government serves in action of sustainable development, boosting the economy, considering a safe and healthy environment. Um, that's actually generally should be a good plan, no? But still, we are struggling in its implementation, no? planning policies na on how to provide sustainable development using our resources, but its implementation is the problem. Um, there can be no 
sustainable development if dili siya may exercise in put into action no siguro tagsulti nga dapat dili na maglabay og basura because it contributes a lot of bad things in our environment and as to humans but why we still have problems with flooding with um kind of landslides so on and so forth right so these are things that needs to be checked and recheck on how the Filipinos have progressed in adapting, understanding, and accepting that there are limitations on everything that we do, right? Dilita gitagaan of unlimited freedom. Now, our freedom is bound with responsibilities, and it's stipulated from our constitutions and its statutory laws. So, mona dapat na unaw sa tao. Um, Siguro, no, by principle, whether you you are educated or not, I think basic ni siya sa tao to see what are the good things and the bad things. No? Um, very basic, if we keep on having problems with flood, what do we do? We replant, we put our um, solid waste properly, we follow the rules to save our environment. Right? Masigwala siguro ka nakakuha ang takok ka education or even elementary ra. But I think you know the basic principles of bad and good things. But it would be very much advantageous for all of us if itang tanan um, has been properly taught in a manner na um, in educative way ba? Na kanisiya sakto ni siyang abuhaton because of this and that. You know, it's, it follows the principles of science. Uh, Mona, um, if we have parents, maybe silingan, or siblings, no, that does not really understand it much on its value. For you as their friend, uh, family member, um, sibling, it's up to you to educate them and tell them what's right from wrong. All right. Um, so five minutes. Anything more that you'd like to raise or shall we say add for um, the enrichment of this discussion. Mag seryoso kayo mo sa inyo ang end ba? O let tingo guy. Ito sa madiha. Muna na ako na stop po sharing. So let me just stop no, sharing now because that's the end of it. Um, that's the open forum. Um, if you don't have anything more to add, let me just remind you that tomorrow for our next sessions, other subjects, we won't be meeting na kayo mga special tasks no? um, on Wednesday. So Wednesday, more tentative po yun na kayo basing namin webinar. But anyways, wala pa man po yung email so we'll proceed on Wednesday if wala, y, wala kayo special tasks. Okay? Um, there may be time po na mag-una ta, probably Friday na kung Monday, o Tuesday atong schedule the following week. By this Friday kay Bali, magsugod na ta. Depende. Uh, sa availability na mga mga special tasks na kinahangal na kayo attend, especially na yung mga admin staff na kinahangal na kung mga No? Okay na makasa inyo ha? Okay na sir. Okay. Sige, sige. Alright, so I think um, this will be the end of our session. I'll be meeting you uh, two weeks from now.